Greetings, everyone. Uh, my name is James P. Madonna. I am the uh, original founder of this group, Holistic Health Talk, as well as Everything is Food, which is our international uh, food and drink group. And, and I started that also in 2012. And also I started the Facebook page, Progressive Discussions, also in 2012. Um, I do a... Um, internet talk show called Progressive Discussions and um, I first before I, I start uh, telling my little story I would like to send greetings to my co-administrator Mr. Mario Petrus of Petrus Fitness greetings and uh, I'm really addressing this to Mario Petrus because he understands exactly what, what I'm about to say. Um, there has been a, various articles uh, occasionally about certain um, corporate retail chains uh, putting out fraudulent nutritional supplementation um, under their label. Uh, to put it simply, whatever was on the label was not in the contents of the bottle. Uh, before these articles came out, um, catching them in the act, so to speak, uh, the first uh, story I read was, um, I think it was in Let's Live magazine. Many years ago, the Vitamin Shop brand, <clears throat> this is before the Vitamin Shop uh, went nationwide. It was attempting to go uh, westward into the Midwest. And uh, the Vitamin Shop brand uh, herbal supplements, they were caught uh, uh, in, involved in fraud, fraudulent uh, ingredients uh, concerning their herbal products. One of their herbal products, I think it was, let's see. I think it was saw palmetto berry. Okay, but nevertheless, they were caught. Now the articles are saying that companies like um, CVS, um, GNC, Target, Walgreens, and Walmart were recently caught um, with fraudulent nutritional products selling it to the public. And this is what happens when you deregulate corporations. This, of course, it, it's done by the Republicans. They get paid off. They have, they have their big donors. They have the lobbyists or, uh, waving money under their nose. They take the bribe, and they owe favors. So that's pretty much what's happening. So they deregulate corporations, which means they can do anything they want to you and I, the, the consumer the mainstream consumer, which is generally the, the lower 98% of the population. The middle class, which is the true consumer and the backbone of the United States economy. And also, the middle, the middle class is carrying the uh, tax burden completely on their shoulders. The middle class is Main Street. The middle class uh, are small businesses, mom and pop stores, entrepreneurs, um, the backbone of the country. So uh, the consumers are being deceived because they're allowed to be deceived. Okay, I mean, look, look at the the, the uh, corporate whores in in, uh, in nice suits and ties. Uh, I mean, look, look who are who is being elected. I mean. Uh, uh, an article uh, revealed that as much as 68% of the population did not bother to vote this past November, um, I mean last November of 2016. Um, it's despicable, it's shameful. Um, so therefore companies, a uh, big business let's say, is currently um, becoming more and more deregulated. So, of course, 
they could lie to the consumer in advertisements. They they can they can give you snake oil, you know. They can give you products with cheap filler in in the, ca in the tablets or capsules, and uh, call it something else on the label. And this is what's going on. And the reason why I'm telling this story, uh, this this uh, consumer advocate rant of mine, is because. Um, to save money, I have been taking the Walmart brand, which is under the label of Spring Valley, uh, for uh, quite some time now. Uh, definitely well over one year. Definitely. And I'm taking the, the um, Mega Dose Omega-3 fish oils under the Spring Valley label. I'm taking uh, chromium piconate 1,000 micrograms under the Spring Valley label, as well as uh, a few other products, including the standardized uh, turmeric extract in a capsule, uh, standardized to contain so much curcumin, okay, under the Spring Valley uh, Walmart label. Of course, they're all inexpensive, but this is the problem. My LDL cholesterol was just under uh, 100, okay, the bad cholesterol. My triglycerides were okay. My um, HDL uh, could, could have been higher. My total cholesterol was fine. But my LDL went from just under 100 to 185. Now, if I'm taking 1,000 micrograms of chromium picolinate and uh, the super mega omega-3 fish oil, okay, among other supplements, you would think that my LDL should be normal. It shouldn't go from 100 up to 185. I mean, come on. I'm taking mega supplements and it goes from 100 to 185 my low-density lipoproteins. So, it doesn't make sense. So, logic uh, shows that because I am uh, trying to save extra money and become, you know, uh, becoming uh, 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 frugal in my purchasing of nutritional supplements, I'm the one that got screwed in the end because I'm taking supplements that should lower my LDL, especially the chromium picolinate, mega dose, and the fish oils, but it's not working. And the turmeric. Um, my LDL skyrocketed uh, upwards, and uh, because of this reason, my doctor insisted, nagged me, uh, frightened me into taking um, the um, generic uh, Lipitor, but the lowest dose, because I insisted on the lowest dose. So I'm taking the lowest dose of Lipitor. I hate doing it. I do not want to take it. I really... Um, I am not in favor of taking any drugs. I try to keep drugs to a bare minimum. I don't even want to call them medications because their medication or medicine is uh, they're positive words. I don't want to call drugs medication, but they pretty much frighten you into doing it because you don't know what else to do. I mean, you know, I mean, come on. Uh, LDL cholesterol is tied into um, uh, refined carbohydrates. Con consuming refined carbohydrates, having your blood sugar not being under control, and the mega dose chromium picolinate should work in that respect. Plus, I'm taking optimum amounts of zinc, which is also tied into uh, blood sugar stabilization. Um, and not to mention all the wonders that turmeric um, supposedly uh, accomplishes and, and uh, of course, fish oils in a mega dose. 
pharmaceutical, they call pharmaceutical grade uh, uh, mega dose fish oils. But using logic, because I'm taking the cheaper Walmart brand who got caught invo involved in fraud, thank you, uh, Walton family, okay, for screwing the public. But it's not just Walmart. All of the major retail chains were caught. Uh, many of them, like the ones I just mentioned before, were caught uh, conducting fraud with the consumer. Uh, I should be very pissed off right now, but um, I decided to uh, make this video very calmly and keeping my composure and not using bad language. But uh, they really are despicable, these corporate American uh, retail CEOs. Well, CEO, CEOs in general are very despicable. Um, they're the ones that send the lobbyists to Washington. Um, I believe they're the, they are the number one tools of Satan in the end times. For those of you that are believers, uh, I'm not evangelical, I'm not a zealot. I believe in science. I believe in proving all things. And um, that's it. That's all I have to say. My, my LDL cholesterol, uh, low density lipoprotein, should not be 185. They should have actually gone down even lower than 100. So that's it. Um, I want to give some shout outs to uh, um, our group members, um, uh, uh, Glenn uh, Bine, uh, Anthony Laura, N uh, Nathan Bates, uh, Natalia Rodriguez, um, Bill Mabry. He's, he's really very dedicated in the holistic field uh, out in Southern California. Um, Ken Thiessen, of course, former WWE um, star, okay, and uh, um, personal trainer uh, in Boca Raton, Florida now. Um, WWE meaning pro wrestling. And uh, I want to give also a, a shout out, uh, greetings to Mr. Salvatore Mercurio. Okay. So, that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this too long. But anyway, thank you for uh, everyone's uh, proactivity on the group, uh, the dedication. Um, Holistic Health Talk is the most proactive group that I, have, I ever started. Uh, and it continues to be the most proactive even today from since 2012. Also, uh, Everything is Food is a, is a great proactive group. Um, and uh, but Holistic Health Talk is the king. It's the tops. And I remember when I only had a few members. And uh, Mario Petrus was one of those original members, the Founding Fathers, and, um, you know, I just want to thank everybody for doing a great job. Check out my uh, Facebook page, Progressive Discussions, and of course I have uh, um, a Twitter uh, channel and a, a YouTube channel under Progressive Discussions, and also on Google. So I have like God knows how many uh, video shows. Um, on the internet, over on YouTube, um, I, I I I haven't counted, I haven't checked, but they they are quite a bit. They are really uh, up there. So anyway, thank you for your great work, all you progressive warriors out there in the holistic health movement. We all know who the real enemy is, and um, what drives the real enemy is greed, the wickedness of greed, the evils of greed. And uh, that's it. Take care.